What's going on everybody? It's Blackjack, master of the magicians today for Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists. It's Yugi, Yugi versus Arcana. I think that's how his voice goes. He sounds kind of like a magician. I'm gonna give him whatever voice I feel like while we go through this ride, shall we? Let's do it. Oh shit, it's Obelisk the fucking Tormentor. Um, uh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. As the, as the Battle City tournament continued, Merrick learned that the Egyptian god card he had seek he was seeking had been played. What? Obelisk the Tormentor has been played? Yes, Master. Moments ago in Battle City, and we've identified the card's owner. Seto Kaiba. Of course! It would be Seto Kaiba. He's not aware of his ancient Egyptian past. And he still won't until about Season 5. Is, is that the one that's after, um, darts? Season 5 is when he finally figures it all out. How did you know, sir? It's quite simple. My sister Ishizu conspires against me. She gave Kaiba that card to try to stop me, but what she doesn't know is that I have the Winged Dragon of Ra, and uh, that will never stop me. I should have known Ishizu is behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ishizu knew if she gave Obelisk the Tormentor to Kaiba, he'd throw a tournament out of greed to obtain the other Egyptian God cards. Sir, shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? No! That's my job! Leave Kaiba to his silly games. I will defeat him and the Pharaoh and take all the god cards and ride them on my motorcycle. I don't know why that's a thing for me. First, I'll need to weaken the Pharaoh. That should be easy. I guess I'll just rearrange his sock drawer. God damn it, I. The, there it is! The Yu Gi Oh! Bridge reference. Fuck me. Don't do that. D dispatch Arcana and uh, dispatch Arcana and t d d d d d <laughs> dispatch Arcana to take down Yugi Moto. Later in the Battle City tournament, a strange cloud alerted Yugi to a secret lair with these dangerous contraptions. Ooh, <laughs> sounds kinky. Welcome, Yugi Moto. I am an illusionist known as Arcana, and soon your favorite card, Dark Magician, will be dueling for me. What is up with his face? It's like, uh, like, I, okay, I understand he has, like, that giant mask, but it makes it look as if, like, the mask is the rest of his face. Like, they forgot, like, the whole face part and just, like, made his eyes, like, ridiculously big. Look at that. That's creepy. That's my nightmares tonight. I don't like it. Only a true master of illusion deserves to hold a dark magician. You'll never understand its full potential. That is enough, Arcana! I know it must be hard to think of your favorite card in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel. The winner will take the loser's Dark Magician. And I accept. You must know that when a duelist builds his deck, he chooses his favorites from many different types of cards. Like I do. Mainly plot device cards. Cards that help me win the duel against a specific opponent. You know, what I'd do. But sometimes a card can choose- I, Shit, I thought Arcana was gonna interrupt him, so... Alright, never mind. But sometimes a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and the duelist can tap into the card's true power. It's called the Heart of the Cards. I call- I call bullshit. Because each is bound by the heart of- God, God damn it! Yami, I'm way ahead of you already. Uh, because each is bound by the heart of the cards. And Dark Magician has chosen me. Even though I'm not very dark, I'm very, very pale for an Egyptian pharaoh. Enough! Let's shuffle our decks and let the show begin! Alright, so here we go. Story deck time! Stone Ogre Grotto. I believe Joey is the one who has that card in his deck? Mm, I can't remember. Doesn't really matter. Let's duel! I choose scissors. Haha, -ha, I win! Yata! Fuck you, Arcana. I'm going first. How's it gonna be knowing that my Dark Magician is way better than yours and that I will prove it to you in this duel? Hmm. I start off pretty good. I already have two Dark Magicians. And then I have Big Field, Big Field, Big Shield Garner, <laughs> Big Field Garner, <laughs> Big Shield Garner, and Giant Soldier of Stone. Maybe that's where I'll start. 
I set one card face down in defense mode. And I'll end my turn for now, Arcana. Hmm, my turn. I draw. And I'll play Dark Magic Curtain. I'll sacrifice half my life points to summon the Dark Magician. Oh no! Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! Ha ha ha! I've already summoned my Dark Magician to the field. What's your problem, Yugi? Hmm. Well, now that is a problem now, isn't it? What the fuck am I gonna do with a Silver Fang? Silver Fang doesn't help me at all. Big Shield Gardener, what's your weird effect that you have? I keep forgetting what it is. During other player's turn, when this card is face card, blah, 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 it's targeted by a spell card. Change this card to face up defense position, and if you do negate the cause of this card is attack chain. Oh, okay. Oh shit, when you change to okay. No matter, I'll set this card face down in defense mode. And then I'll end my turn. Already going on the defensive, are you, Yugi? No matter. I'll flip my mystic tomato in attack mode. And I'll have Dark Magician attack your Oh. Well. Okay, well, yep, yeah, this, this bad, this very bad. Dark Magic Curtain? Okay, so probably gonna lose this duel. This fucking sucks. Alrighty. I'll set one card face down in defense mode for now. Uh, what happens when Mystic Tomato is, uh, yeah, okay, that's what it is. And then I guess I'll just end my turn. Yugi, you're not doing very well now, are you? I'm Arcana. I'm starting to do that weird Dutch voice I was doing in the last one. Dark Magician! Dark Magic attack to his face down monster! Ooh, a weak Silver Fang. No matter, Mystic Tomato attack his life points directly. And then I'll sacrifice my Mystic Tomato and my face down card to summon another Dark Magician! Well, fuck me sideways. Yep. Oh, great tip. Dark Magician Girl gains attacks from Dark Magicians in the opponent's graveyard also. Great. Too bad I couldn't even fucking summon her. I mean, seriously. Really? Like, oh, d dual strategies and fucking just summon Dark Magician Girl and everything solves your fucking problems. Don't oh, fuck you. Fuck you. You, I mean, you fucking monocle like you fucking know everything. Just fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you specifically. Alrighty, let's try this shit again. Bujingi Turtle? Oh, I really wish I could have read the effect of that. That looked interesting. Alright, this time, Arcana, I will win this duel. I pick Rock. Haha, -ha, I win. I'm going first again. Maybe I should have won second this time. Please tell me that I at least... Okay, good. I was getting ready to say, if I don't have a fucking Dark Magic Curtain, I'm, I'm gonna, like, kill this game. Okay, I'm gonna play... I'll play this card, face down. And then I'll play... Wait, 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 wait. Dark Magic Curtain. Yes. And I'll set this card face down. And then I'll activate Dark Magic Curtain. I'll sacrifice half of my life points to summon my Dark Magician. And then I'll end my turn. It's your move, Arcana. My move, then. I draw. I'll play Infected Male. Once per turn, you can target one level four or level master you control. You can attack your opponent directly in this turn. Send it to the graveyard at the end of the battle phase. Send it to the graveyard at the... Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, right now I really don't care. Nope. Nope. I know this would be the time to do- Oh! Okay, maybe now I might want to do that then. Target one spell or trap card you're- See, but it doesn't negate the activation of it though, so yeah, it's just better for me to get rid of infected mail. No. 
All right, so he summons his Dark Magician. He's probably going to have them attack each other. Thousand Knives. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. Right, right, right. Because if it plays a Magic card. Yes. Okay, that was perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be real. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, okay, 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 think, think this one through, Blackjack, think this one through, okay, 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 does it have to be a face-up monster, yeah, it does, okay, alright, so here's what I'll do, I use brain control to take the dark magician, okay, so yeah, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, here's, here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change Big Shield Gardener to attack mode. I'm gonna use Brain Control to take his. Actually, yeah, it doesn't matter which one I. Okay, so I'll take his face down. Oh, right, right, right. It only lets him take a face up. That, that's why it matters. Okay, so I get to take his face up card. I play Mystic Box, right? Okay, you following me? Destroy that one. I give him Big Shield Gardener. There we go. Okay. I sacrifice his Dark Magician to summon Dark Magician Girl. Wow. I'm not, I, like I, I had to go into like thinking mode there, and it was crazy. All right. And now I'll enter my battle phase. Dark Magician Girl, attack Big Shield Gardener. Son of a bitch. Negate the effects of that face-up monster while I was up on the field. Also, that face-up monster cannot attack? Oh my god. Son of a bitch. I mean, at least I got his Dark Magician off the field. And look at how we both have nothing in our hands right now either. My move! You like that move, didn't you, Yugi? I'll play this card face down then, I guess. And thank you for your big shield, Gardner. He's a great defense. <sighs> Dark Magician Girl does me no good. Alright then. I will sacrifice Dark Magician Girl to summon Burfamit! An attack mode. Yes. So now I get Gazelle the Mythical Beast to my hand. Now, Burfamet. Attack his face down, monster. Son of a bitch. I'm in trouble. I'm in real big trouble. He's a burn deck. He's a burn deck. All he does is he, he takes life points away. Because I already saw he had Ukazi earlier, so now he's going to flip stealth for face down. Now Ectoplasmer, son of a bitch. Oh, it's only 50 life points. Okay, so that's not that bad. Shit. All right, so I have to summon Gazelle, and then I got to get Red Eyes on the field next turn, or I'm screwed. I am so screwed if I don't. Okay. I've at least got to get this face up because I cannot afford a thousand life points right now. I, I'll rather take 200. All right, and then I end my turn. Hmm, you see him on the ropes, Yugi. Oh, shit. Oh, motherfucker. I forgot about that. Ectoplasma also makes me have to sacrifice a. Mo oh, shit. Then I'll sacrifice Burfamet. You lose 700 life points, Arcana. No matter, my move. I'll flip Stealth Bird down and place this card face down. It's only for face up monsters. Oh my god. Oh, it's even worse. Shit. So he forces me into this position where I have to summon Dark Magician Girl. 
Oh, this sucks. This sucks. This fucking sucks. Man, fuck you, Arcana, you son of a bitch. Dark Magician Girl. Uh, uh, just take your time. No, no rush here. Uh, it's not like I'm about to lose this duel anyway. Um. Hey, Dark Magician Girl, it's your cue. Ah, there you are, Dark Magician Girl. Uh, use your version of the dark magic attack, which apparently shoots out of your boots. Okay. Uh, I'll end my turn then. <sighs> Shit. I need something fast. Mystic Tomato. And he's gonna sacrifice him. Duel's not technically not over. Okay. Do I have another Dark Magic Curtain? Heart of the Cards, guide me! Heart of the Cards, you suck. You're a bitch. Activate only when a spell card that targets one player is activated. The effect of the spell card... Okay, 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 okay. It doesn't help me. But I've gotta pray that the next card he draws is not Ukazi or a monster card with over 500... with over 550 attack points. Or 550 attack points and over. I end my turn. <laughs> now I end this duel. Oh, never mind. No, I don't. It ain't gonna do me much good. I play Swords of Revealing Light. It'll buy me three turns. Oh, well then, Yugi. Then I'll just have to keep drawing. One turn down. Oh my god! Fucking perfect! Huh. The heart of the cards have paid off my patience. I will play Dark Magic Curtain to summon another Dark Magician by giving up 275 of my life points. And now, to end this duel, Dark Magician, attack his life points directly! Holy shit! I did not think I was getting out of that one. Wow, what a comeback. That's a great duel. That was, that was an awesome fucking way to win. I could not believe I pulled that out. I thought for sure I was fucked the second he played Ectoplasma, but nope. Fucking pulled that one out. That, that can't be! There is no way you could have defeated me, Yugi! I am the greatest magician the world has ever known! Oh, I guess you're gonna be the lame one. You relied on trickery to win instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. I did that, and you see what happened? You had me on the ropes, and I still won. So, say goodbye. I guess you're gonna get hit by those dark energy ring discs. I know in the Japanese version they were actual buzzsaws, but whatever. Arcana is gone. Oh, right, right, right. It's my control. Arcana is gone, so we meet again, little Yugi. I'm sure I need no introduction. Show your face, uh, show your face to me, Merrick, you coward. I'll reveal myself to you when the time is right and no sooner. Once I obtain what's mine, Yin, you know exactly what I want. The unlimited power of the ancient pharaoh, the spirit that lives within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the pharaoh's power. Because that power is rightfully mine. And once I have it, I will be unstoppable. The world will belong to me. And no one will stand in the way of my destiny. Especially not you. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi. My family has slaved for centuries protecting the tomb of the pharaoh until his return. And for what? I should be the pharaoh. <laughs> I can really take you seriously with that face, pal. Never! You you won't get the power of the Pharaoh, and I'll make sure of it! Ha! We'll just see about that! My destiny can't be stopped! Don't you see? It's only a matter of time! The three Egyptian god cards, along with your Millennium Puzzle, will belong to me! Then I will strip the Pharaoh of his ancient powers, and infuse them within myself! 
Merrick, you will never defeat me in a duel, so you'll never get your greedy hands on my puzzle. I promise you by the sands of Egypt, the Pharaoh's power will be mine. Another of my mind slaves is already in Battle City waiting to defeat you and take your puzzle. And he holds an Egyptian God card. And what is the name of this card? Beware the quiet one. We'll meet again, Yugi. Awesome. Fucking sweet. So I get to play against a fucking Slifer deck. Oh god, those fucking slime tokens are gonna be a bitch. Alright, so we unlocked all the- Whoa, what the fuck is that? Tragedy. Curious what that card does. Alright, so we finished that one. Oh no, the next duel is fucking- Hehehe, <laughs> I'm Weevil! <laughs> I gotta figure out what his voice is. I probably figured it out by the time we do the next episode. Joey versus Wheeler! Joey versus Wheeler? Joey versus Weevil, you idiot. Next time. See you then.